What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Big Cool Entertainment, and I am back today with another Walking Dead video. Man, 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 the day has finally come. It is the season six finale tonight on The Walking Dead. Eight o'clock is a 90-minute episode. Negan's arrival, Negan's grand brutal arrival, the most anticipated arrival for a villain in The Walking Dead ever. He's the most iconic villain, the, the toughest villain, the best villain, the most charismatic villain, the most entertaining villain. He's just He just tops it all. Although the governor was great, he has nothing on Negan. Negan is a great, a great villain. And this is my prediction video. This is my prediction video. I feel that it, tonight's episode is going to set set the tone for the for the next few episodes or for the future of The Walking Dead. This is a great show, all time show, my favorite show going. And tonight we get to see Negan live on our television set or however you watch it, tablet, phone, computer, laptop. And we get to see we saying hi to to Negan and goodbye to one of the the core members of the survivors, whether it's Daryl, Glenn, Morgan, Carol, which I doubt because he's not going to kill a woman. Not in that way anyway. We're saying goodbye to one of those um, those characters. And it doesn't hit you, and it really won't hit you until you see it. Because it, it, it's going to be brutal. It's going to be heartbreaking. It's going to cause a lot of mixed emotions. Some people, if you're not fans of those characters, going to be, you know happy some if you're not really caring you're gonna be indifferent you're not gonna really stop you're gonna be like oh it's brutal but you're not gonna feel any type of way because everybody has their favorites and if your favorite doesn't die it may not affect you but if your favorite dies it's definitely gonna torment you a, a little bit because this show is it, it's, it's addictive it's like a drug a strong drug you can't get enough of the walking dead even when the episodes aren't that good it's like if you buy some bad weed and it doesn't give you the high that you normally get your plug is off and i'm sorry i'm not trying to do it like that sound crazy but you know you consistently get a good drug and uh, you, you buy something that's off one day or whatever it may be whatever you want to compare it with it doesn't matter if the uh, some of the episodes are not up to par to what we're used to we still love it because we know they're going to bring it in the next few episodes but on to the predictions tonight basically the predictions are I think Rick, you know, them get cut off trying to take Maggie to hill, to the hilltop to be seen by a doctor because we've seen the last week's episode at the end. She fell to the ground with severe, you know, stomach pains. You know, she's pregnant. We don't know what the, what, what's, what's the cause of that. Um, but on to the main one. Who will Negan kill? The final prediction. The final prediction. And I'm torn on this as I'm making this video right now because I, I want to say... My head is saying Glenn, but my heart, or my heart is saying Glenn, but my head is saying Daryl. I know, and, and it's easy to go with Glenn because he dies in the comic books. But if you want to shock people, which I think they will shock people, I'm going with Daryl. I know that Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl Dixon, has been confirmed to appear, to appear on tonight's The Talking Dead season finale. And people will say, well, they wouldn't do that if they knew he was going to die. But maybe they maybe they would because it's going to cause a lot of viewers and a lot of uh, views for The Talking Dead to see uh, how did he think, how what was his thoughts when he seen the script that he would be, this would be his final year. You know, plus Norman Reedus has a lot of things going on. He has the the, the Riding with Norman um, show that's appearing in June on AMC. Although he did say he would be back in season seven. I made a video on saying that it doesn't necessarily mean he'll be back in live. It could be flashbacks. It can be of his zombified body. So who knows? But I'm going with Daryl Dixon, um, fan favorite, one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character on the show, who, who, who gets Lucille in a brutal way as Negan makes his grand entrance. And there it is. I just think... Um, it's going to be a, a, a great episode, a sad episode, a brutal episode, a well-done episode. But I'm thinking Daryl gets Lucille, and that's my final prediction. 
like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me if you agree with me. If not, who do you think will meet Lucille in a brutal way? Until next time, I'm out.